it should eventually affect us. Maybe not a few weeks, but maybe a few months from now. Maine butcher shops and grocery stores are bracing for a potential shortage. Florence didn't necessarily hit us with anything uh, meaningful, but it's going to affect the Northeast. That's because North Carolina's thriving livestock industry took a serious beating from the storm. Officials estimate it killed 3 million chickens and turkeys, as well as 5,500 pigs. For us to get all of our product, a lot of it comes from the southern and midwest, uh, midwestern states. With parts of North Carolina devastated by flooding, some of that product is no longer there and won't be for quite a while. Workers at Pat's Meat Market in Portland say a shortage could affect them in two ways, not having as many options on the shelf and higher prices. If it's a short-term increase that we know about, uh, we'll, keep our, we'll keep our prices the same and, uh, you know, so the margin gets a little less, but... Uh, we're about making friends, you know, it's all about making friends. But a long-term disruption would get passed on to shoppers' bills. As cleanup gets underway to our south, Florence's overall impact on the meat market likely won't be clear for several months. I think uh, if anyone's really concerned, stock the freezer, you know what I mean? <laughs> Other than that, I mean, we're definitely not going to run out of food. Just to be clear, this is not a major concern in terms of sales, at least at this point, but they will certainly be watching the situation down there as cleanup continues. In Portland, Tyler Cataret, WMTW News 8.